Hey, what's up everybody? It's Russ with RWGResearch.com. Um, I am live right now, and the email, I guess, didn't work out or something, so you can also sign up for uh, email updates when I'm live or any other information I feel relevant. I will send an email only when it's extremely important or uh, something you need to know. So, continuing on the gen set, um, because I'm waiting for parts on the EPG, and um, basically... I have made up this crazy contraption, and uh, yeah, this is what I got. So uh, basically, I'm trying to recycle exhaust gases. Um, I do really need one more fitting, and I have a valve that goes on here. Um, this is kind of a temporary setup, but basically, this valve will go on here if I need it. But I decided that I'm thinking I don't need it, because if I... I guess I should tell you, I took off the carburetor and I bought a regular flange, so this is something that anybody can do. And then, uh, you know, your hydrogen, you can just drill a hole in here or something and run it in there. But this, but this valve right here is going to be my control, my air inlet valve. Alright, it's going to be set manually. This engine's just going to run at the speed it's running at because it's a gen generator, so you no need to really worry too much about that. Um, so here's my exhaust gases coming back in the system. This is all temporary setup for now, and uh, I can make modifications later. But basically, my exhaust comes out of here. I just took this, uh, dr uh, drill about a half inch, or excuse me, one inch exactly with an, in with an end mill. And it fits right on there, and I got it compressed on there with some Teflon tape for right now. That may not hold up for very long. I don't know, but at the moment, it's all I could get uh, to make work. I can figure out another way. I didn't want to modify this muffler at all. I don't want to modify anything. So that's one reason that it's the way it is. I got this flexible gas line for like natural gas, which is going to do the job that I want for now. And um, it's just going to recir recirculate my exhaust gases. And by, instead of putting a valve on the exit, by turning this off or on, it will make the exhaust gases come in like it has to have exhaust gases so I've got ways to play with the inlet and outlet and I will be running this on the hydrogen no modifications to this motor please see my previous video for all of the interesting things that I've got going on with this gen set alright so let's uh, hook up the hydrogen and we'll fire it up see what happens everything is three quarter inch on here in case you're wondering three quarter inch for all of it alright Okay, everyone. So basically, just got the hydrogen, two flashbacks, hydrogen, five psi. This flow meter is probably going to be laying over, but I'm just using it as a control. And uh, then I'll be playing with these ports and seeing what happens. So, wish me luck.
this water moisture coming out of here. So, wow, pretty cool, um, the amount of water that's coming out of here, it's all over the table, condensation in there, I need to find a way, a better way to support this, it's bouncing around really bad, and uh, unfortunately, it bounces around too much, we're going to have a problem, it's going to break off. So I'm going to find a way to support that and uh, we'll continue testing. By the way, I had the inlet all the way off and the return gases at that angle right there. Which, if I turn this valve about the same amount, maybe right there, that's all that's open. No, it's hard to see. Oh, that's cool. You can see me in reflection, too. Just a little sliver there. That's open. Not much at all. Alright, and again, I'm just using hydrogen, so it's going to be different with HHO altogether. Theoretically, you should close the system all the way. Alright, continuing on. Oh! What's up, guys? Continuing on this project, I wanted to show you what I got. Basically, I've, uh, there was one open bolt hole here, so I got lucky. And I had a whole bunch of L brackets and pieces of metal and junk. And uh, this isn't actually touching the muffler. Basically, just got it supported with a strap down here. And uh, you can see... Solid. So let's go ahead and continue on. Hydrogen excitement
have a little flame there. Alright. Now it's time to just play around with this thing for a while and uh, see what happens. So you can kind of see where my valves were. It actually seemed like it run better on air under load and it runs better on, exa on exhaust gases under load. So, kind of interesting. Definitely warm. Definitely warm. Crank cases, yeah, warm. But there you go. So that's my uh, setup for now. I'll be playing with this, seeing if we can get anything interesting out of it. Um, may put another valve here, and uh, you know, this way will be better off. And also, this thing kind of acts as a heat uh, reducer. This right here is actually way cooler. So this is acting as a way to get rid of my heat, which is what Stan did as well. Okay, that's it. Russ with rwgresearch.com. Those of you who caught the live show, thanks. And, uh, yeah, see what's next. Thanks, guys. Whoa. Okay, so really quickly, I wanted to add something at the end here. Um, I just wanted to inform you that once this got hot, it's no longer spitting out any water. So, kind of an interesting, interesting thing there. It's not really doing it, so the heat is probably displacing the water up to the same thing a normal engine would do. Um, but yeah, there it is. Short and quick, sweet. I did actually have it hooked up to this air compressor, and it would run, but it's knocking really bad and uh, I believe that has to do with timing because no matter what I do with the inlet it just doesn't like it so I presume next will be a a uh, timing change alright thanks see you guys